So today we're doing a another upgrade in the uh, 303 RLS. Welcome back to the channel everybody if you're new uh, my name is Kevin I'm Dan and together we're compass roads so today I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit we had bought this off the of e-trailer um, the Tyrion Vision S with the 7 inch monitor uh, it's an observation camera set or whatever you want to call it we didn't get the four pack we did get the two pack so this is actually normally your uh, doorway camera but since that we already got the shark fin it's going to be in the back and then we got two marker light cameras as well yep they go on the side lights and they will provide us side views so which is going to be good for lane but change. we may have an issue with this but i've already been on the forum to see how we can rectify that if we need to but we're going to install this one first because this is the one that we really need to and this is going to be more of a plug and play uh so without further ado, let's go ahead and open up and look at it real quick. So, um, this is the monitor. This is what's going to be in the tow vehicle. Boom, 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 boom. There is. Does that turn? I don't really like it like that. But anyways, got the inches. antenna. Yeah, this is a seven-inch screen, which I already talked about. Boom. Put this in here. Right there. The different mounts this is i guess going to be for the one that you can bring in because once again it is an observation camera so with that you can bring it in and use this if you have it hardwired where you have permanently uh what is that is that the 12 volt system 12. <laughs> anyways you can bring it in with this monitor and put it here so you can use it while you're inside instead of just for travel travel days or whatnot you can actually use it in here if you want uh, the suction cup, obviously. I don't know. Is this what you're going to use in the travel truck? vehicle? Yeah, I think so. So this will go to Toby. <laughs> and here's the actual camera itself. It's a shark fin. So we'll have to go out there and look. So here's what the camera looks like. We already got the shark fin. I don't know why. If you got the four set camera, you have a red marker light that would come with it. And they actually call that your backup camera. Even though most of the Grand Designs, at least the reflections of Solitude and Momentum lines, come with this already on the back and the newer, we got a 2021, so it's already pre-wired. So it should be a plug and play system where we plug this in. Now, the shark fin we have back there doesn't look like it has this. I don't know, we'll have to look at it. If it does, or well, we can just pop this off. All we gotta do is unscrew the camera and screw it into that one. Um, but we'll see when we get out there for that. But this is the one that's gonna be going on the back. And these, because it came in another box, we didn't get the big box that everybody else been. I know there's plenty of reviews online about this already. So that's the books and stuff that come with it. Here's the marker lights that are gonna come with it. This will be for the right side. This is the one that may give us some problem because of our awning arm for our awning. So we don't know if it'll be able to see around that arm or not. So we're just gonna wire it in. When we get to this step, we're gonna wire it in and see how it does. Cause if not, we may have to flip them around and they'll have to go upside down. So what was intended to go on the right side of the RV may have to be flipped upside down and go to the left, but also kicks your camera out a different angle. So you, the majority of times that we are gonna be using this anyway is just on travel days. So you can see if your lane's clear. Um, I'll still block for you. One thing I do like, which you can already see in here, I don't know if you can pick it up on this camera. All the other um, camera sets that we've seen, even for this, the Vision S, they've all come with incandescent. We, our set that we ordered from eTrailer, just the three camera set, at least this one already come with the LEDs in here because the 2021 reflection, and I don't know when they started doing it because we went from a Forest River product to a Grand Design product. Um, the marker light we're going to be swapping out is LED as well. So um, that's good because I didn't want to go to incandescent because we was going to have to swap that out anyway. When we cut back in, we are going to pair it first. So we need to go inside the truck. We need to put power on, which means we're going to have to kill power to the fifth wheel. Probably mm. do the bat battery disconnect. 
um, for now. I don't know how that will work. Or do we need to leave it on? We'll, we'll, we'll have to read up a little bit more. But anyways, when we come back, that's what we'll do. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we've got the uh, seven inch screen hooked up in the truck and I've got it plugged into our little um, uh, 12 volt adapter and we're going to start this up in AC and we see the Furion Vision S indicator coming on and it says no signal. Okay, that's because we don't have anything paired yet. So they do have a pairing um, knob up here. I'm gonna put this down. And this uh, looks like a three and a half inch jack. That's gonna plug right into here. So basically what he's saying is, is the, the lighter adapter that would go into the 12 volt plug in your vehicle, whatever your tow vehicle is, there on that wire itself, there's another jack and it's for you to be able to pair your, the camera that's gonna be going on the back. Cause they want you to be able to pair that before you get on a ladder, I'm sure. And we're already gonna be looking a little sketchy out there. Oh, it's already. It's already paired. It's I mean, already I guess working, it's plug I guess. And play. I guess you can see us on there. So. So we look short and dumpy. So theoretically, this is what it's supposed to look like when it's plugged in at the back of the RV. Now granted, we'll take this plastic off so it'll look a little smoother, but you can see it's got a bunch of touch. Let me get over here some touch features you can do. So right now, because that's the only camera that's paired, as you can see the lights on as well, that'll let you know that little blue light that it's got power to it as well. Boom, so the next thing to do is go mount that on the back. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boom, see? That piece right there is what I was talking about. Okay. Right there is a plug and play. So this is actually pretty good because all we gotta do now uh, is plug it in and make sure it works. Use those screws. We can put those screws right back in. So now all we gotta do, turn around here, is we gotta undo these screws right here because we don't need this piece, this piece right here. So this is a plate that we took off the shark fin that was already pre-installed. As you can see, there's this little tab right here. Um, we thought we were going to have to, this is the actual camera that's gonna be going back there. We thought that we were gonna to have to put this whole piece on there, which we could if we wanted to, but now that this came off, it actually allows for the actual antenna for the camera to go through. So we don't have to take this backing off. This has four screws on it. This has four screws on an actual camera. So we're gonna take the camera out of here and then put it in the shark fin that already came with the RV. So it saves us a step and it saves us from having to re-seal that. As you see, we already took it out of the backing. So what I'm gonna do now, like this. Boom, it's in there. So, all we gotta do is plug and play. I'm trying to get this to where it'll go back in there. That's one thing I don't like. So what we need to do right now though is we need to go make sure that this works before I put in the rest of the screws. I did hook up the truck to the trailer and so we're connected i'm going to turn it on acc and you can see we have the freon it says no signal and that i don't know if you can really see that um but you can see that is the back of the trailer now we are going to adjust it we don't need that that white which is the roof um so much so i kind of want to move that back a little bit i was able to go up there and put those final screws in and that's the way it looks and it looked pretty good up front i was able to tilt it out a little bit so we didn't have so much white um, on the back 
uh, showing up in the video. So we should be good to go, at least with the backup camera. Okay, this is a close-up of the marker light that we're going to be replacing. Just want to give you a before shot. Now we're going to take it apart. Looks like all you have to do is take a flathead screwdriver. And on the bottom and both sides, Ooh, hopefully you've I got did a it right. place where yeah. you can take it off. So I can tell they're LED too. Oh. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we are going to take off these two screws and look at the wiring behind it. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the trailer from the truck and we're also gonna turn off the power and disconnect the battery. All right, so we took off the two Phillip head screwdriver okay. screws. <laughs> that was easy enough. <laughs> two screwdrivers. Now the one thing we are concerned about this particular marker light is it is directly across from the arm of the awning. So we're not sure what kind of visual impact that's gonna have on us. And let's see what kind of wiring is behind the bracket. Looks like two wires, a white and a black. It was glued to it, but we're gonna have to cut this and then strip them and wire it to the new one. Okay, looking at this, um, according to the front, it shows that the top one is positive, the bottom one is negative. Oh uh, yeah, you can see the little plus and minus. <laughs> so. And uh, so the top one is the black and the bottom, the negative or ground is the white. So I'm going to go ahead and cut both of these off as close as I can to the end. Ain't no going back now. No. We're going to strip these wires. We're going to clean this off a little bit. And then we're going to connect um, the four wires that are on our LED system to our marker lights. Yeah, so I'm gonna help him out with this. I'm gonna assist with a little bit, so we're not gonna show you us uh, stripping and hooking all that up. There's plenty of videos out there for that. Uh, we'll show you when we actually <clears throat> get everything connected. It won't be screwed to the side of the uh, the RV yet, but we'll get everything connected and do a test uh, and make sure that it works from there. Okay, so we're on the second marker light already uh, with the camera and uh, the way we actually had to hook it up is to the trailer our white is our ground and our black is our positive so there are four wires hanging out of the the camera itself you've got a red brown black and yellow the red one is your traffic lamp that's your main positive one and the brown one is for your camera so that needs to be hooked up to the positive the black is your ground, which is going to be connected to the white in the trailer. And then the yellow uh, wire that's in there is actually for a trigger signal. If you happen to have more than two wires that come through your trailer and um, the, your left and right marker lights actually serve as turn indicators, then you would connect... Uh, that yellow one up to that on our trailer. We don't have that so we won't be connecting that We're just gonna cap that off and I'm gonna go ahead finish capping them off. I pa paired it up to uh, Their console inside and we'll check that out as soon as I can get this capped off and put back in and mounted All right, so if you notice we've got one screw in here, which is going to be behind the camera we also have spaces for two screws over here and another one over there. These two screws came with the item itself that actually holds the camera onto the backing. And I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like to add the camera on. Uh, the camera just kind of slides in over the masking and plugs straight into there.
And now what I can do is I can go take the small screws, put them in. We will have to drill a pilot hole in here for the self-tapping screw that was on there because they don't line up with the original holes that came with the, the original marker lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so that's the final product. Um, we put in the other screws. I went ahead and put that cap back on. Now let's take a look and see if everything's working correctly on the inside here. All right, let's get this started up. And make sure the lights are on, at least the marker lights have to be on. Just take a while. All right, that is the this one is the um, right camera, the one on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and see if I can hit this. Let's go to, that's the left camera. Okay, that's the left camera. That is over on the driver's side. You can see, obviously, we have the slides out, so we'll have to take a look, see what that shows up um, with the slides in. And finally, let's go hit the rear. And there's our rear camera. Right there, you can see the ladder in the background. A uh, little, You can see the, the bumper of the trailer down there. And you can see pretty far away. So, I know it's hard to do with one hand. And then we can also add in the lines. I don't know if they are actually coming through or not, um, but the lines when you back up, so it kind of gives you an idea how far you, how far it is away. So basically, that's the Furion Vision S. Until then, take care, and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the road. Okay, I just wanted to give you a review of the Furion Vision S camera that we purchased. Uh, it's been about two months that I've been using it since we actually installed it. And I thought that I'd give you my perspective as to how well it is. Uh, it actually has been a really great camera. You do have to remember to have your lights on to actually use it when it's plugged in. Uh, one of the things I did do since the installation is I did go ahead and you can see the camera right up there. I did go ahead and flip it out another notch aside from what I showed you in the installation just so it could be seen a little bit farther down the highway. Now I can actually see Kevin following behind me in his forerunner and I see the entire his entire forerunner in there and that's great for knowing exactly when to pass the car that you just passed uh, when to get into their lane and uh, it works great let's talk about the side cameras though now the side cameras we did want uh, they installed great and they do show a great picture I don't use them as much as I actually would have um, or thought that I would have and the cameras actually do have a great field of vision going on the side and if we were stationary and we wanted to look outside and see the observation that would be great on the road i have used it a few times and there is a feature on the screen where you can actually go ahead and show all your cameras at once on one screen and I have used it a few times on the road, but not so much. Usually I just use the one picture of the back, and that's what I use to go past and um, get into other lanes. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you do decide to get the backup camera and you're wondering if the additional expense is worth it. Depending on how much the difference is, it probably isn't worth getting the, mar uh, the, the marker cameras or the side cameras because you aren't gonna use it as much. Is it a handy feature? Sure, so it's whatever you feel comfortable with. Anyways, I hope you liked this video of the installation and the review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up for us. Also, subscribe to our channel, it's absolutely free. It does help us out. And if you wanna be notified the next time we come up with a great video like this, go ahead, tap that notification button, and we will tell you exactly when the next video is uploaded so you can go watch it on your own time. So, thanks for watching us, 
And until we see you again, where will the road take you? Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights